Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome into our time of service. We, uh, it's like going to church, only you didn't have to get dressed and leave your house, your, your home or your hospital room or wherever that you've joined us. We want to tell you that uh, you need to stay tuned because we have some good singing coming up and uh, it'll be cool in your house and it won't, you won't get too hot. So. It's a good time to have a good concert, uh, gospel concert, gospel concert, can't even talk here. But anyway, we uh, the singing will be better than my talk, I promise you. <laughs> but anyway, we're trying to get too much said in a hurry so I can uh, get them up here to sing. But uh, we want to just read one verse tonight, and it is so important, I want you to really... I mark it down so you can remember it, and uh, and I hopefully we can abide by it. In Ephesians, the fifth chapter and the twentieth verse, there it is. One verse only, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. One one verse, and uh, I read. Uh, Something today I wanted to share with you about uh, Corey Ten Boom. All of you know what uh, who she was and and what a, a time that she had. But she's always faithful to the Lord. And so this is uh, the little excerpt uh, about her. And uh, she said, conditions in our barracks in the concentration camp at Ravenbuck were terrible. Uh, they were terrible. When we first arrived, I told Bessie, that was her sister, I could not bear the lice that lived in, the t in their filthy blankets and mattresses. And she replied, you must give thanks to God for everything, even the lice. Bessie was right. Because of the bugs which infested our barracks, the women guard and the officers kept their distance and we were able to hold our Bible studies without fear. And God had a use for either the varmints after all. Sometimes what we see as a curse one day will become a blessing the next day. So how much more simple it would be if we learned to thank God for everything instead of using our own judgment. That was uh, by Corey Ken Boom. I thought that was so good. I just had to share it. And uh, uh, I shared that with uh, on the phone a while ago to to Bonnie Bess. She is still in the hospital taking uh, um, shots every day for this infection in her foot. And so that's uh, I shared that with her. And because sometimes we have to hunt, we have to choose. To, we have to choose. That's a decision we need to make. We choose to give him thanks or we choose to grumble or to, you know, not care. But we must choose to give him praise and thanks. And so how that worked for Corey Ten Boone and her sister and all those women, our, the problems that we are seeing today can turn around to be a blessing. So if you need help praying about something like this, maybe there's something that's just dogging you every day and keeping you out of victory and you just can't seem to get past it, well, get someone to pray with you. And the prayers of agreement is so strong, it can break those bonds of those that bondage that you're under. And so uh, we have phone op operators upstairs if you uh, 
need to call, feel free to do so. But right now, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you that we have a chance, we have an opportunity to praise you and to give you thanks for all things. We've all seen rough times, but Lord, you brought us through, and we thank you for that. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness to us and how you have provided for your people all down through the ages, and you will continue. You never change. We're the only ones that change. So, Father, tonight, as we each bring our troubles to you, enable us to leave them with you and to give you thanks for what uh, might not be too pleasant right now in our lives. But, Lord, we thank you because we know good is going to come out of it. Bless our guests and our phone operators and the ones that will be calling. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, and you know, as I uh, talking about giving thanks, I picked up the uh, CDs uh, of our guest tonight, which happens to be Narrow Road, and the title of one of their CDs is "I Thank God Every Day." That's good. See that they they were following that scripture a long time ago. Narrow Road from Berea, Kentucky. Uh, it, the phone number eight five nine five eight two thirty nine thirty six. If you'd like to get in touch with them and so we're happy to have them back it's been a while but uh, they all look like they have weathered well and able to sing tonight so let's go over for narrow road Looking back now, that little mountain church house has become my life's cornerstone. It was there in that little mountain church house I first heard the words I based my life upon. I stand on. (laughs) 
Well, I was a sinner on a long, hard road. And he was a rock that burdened my soul. Well, since he saved me, all my sins are gone. And he is a rock that I stand on. He is a rock that I stand on. King of the mountain, the cornerstone. Oh, Calvary, his love was shown. And he is a rock that I stand on. If I'm up on the mountain or the valley below, he is a rock that strengthens my soul. I'll sing his praises till the ages roll on. He is a rock and I stand on. He is a rock and I stand on. King of the mountain, the cornerstone. On Calvary, his love was shown. And he is a rock. I stand on On a firm foundation No shift in sand He lifts me up to Higher ground Though friends forsake me I'm never alone Cause he is a rock and I stand on He is a rock and I stand on King of the mountain, the cornerstone On Calvary, his love was shown And he is a rock and I stand on And he is a rock, I stand on Thank you all. Uh, it's good to be here tonight. It's been, oh, about a year and a half or so since we've been here. A lot of things have gone on, but we're blessed to be able to get back together and start playing music again. <clears throat> I'm going to try to sing a song in a minute. If I don't lose my voice, this weather has destroyed my, my throat. But I want to dedicate this song to a friend of mine, William Smith and his wife Robin, and her mother, Miss Ruby. And this is called I Find Jesus. Silence when it comes This feeling when the Spirit leads me on And my dog should bark And the night is rough I take it as a sign And climb above The city to the hill Among the clouds Where I can see My Savior now He's waiting with his palm to me outstretched His mercy is a bomb When I'm perplexed I find Jesus In the darkest night I find Jesus In the morning bright I find Jesus In the face of those Whose hearts are seen With the heavenly Sometimes when I feel all alone, I look around and all are gone. The friends that I rely upon are busy doing what they want. I look within and I am told it's Sunday morning in my soul. And there I find a holy hall Where congregations need the call I find Jesus in the darkest night I find Jesus in the morning bright I find Jesus in the face of those Whose hearts are seen with the heavenly host I lay down my last time 
and feel the chill run up my spine and recognize my time has come I'll look around he'll lead me home he'll reach his love in hand to me and then we'll climb to victory where well, we'll find kindred spirits there hearts raised in song without a care I find Jesus in the darkest night. I find Jesus in the morning bright. I find Jesus in the face of those whose hearts are singing with a heavenly host. Well, I didn't sound too bad. I've done better, but regardless. We're here for one reason, folks. That's to praise the Lord's name. And, and hopefully somebody out there tonight who doesn't know Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior will find something in the messages, the songs that we that we have been given by the Lord to touch their hearts and help them all to have a closer walk with Jesus Christ. This crazy world we're living in right now, a lot of people feel like they don't have any hope, but we do. Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. No matter what's going on, as she read the script tonight, he is there with us always. He's always with us. We just got to keep remembering he's there and pay attention to his direction in our life. So tonight, if you don't know Jesus, right there in front of the TV set, the computer, ask Jesus Christ into your heart. It's one of the best decisions you'll ever make. Amen. I'm ready. Okay, this next one, um, I think I got this from the country gentleman. I'll be no stranger there. 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 When all saints come from the grave, I'll be no stranger there. I like to say happy birthday to my little brother today. He's hitting 53, so little brother, so that means I'm a little older, right? Just a little bit. <laughs> also like to dedicate this song. It goes out to my mom 
and uh, her sister, uh, Stella, and, and her other sisters that are watching too. So this is for y'all. Using my Bible for a roadmap. In my Bible for a road now. The Ten Commandments, they tell me what to do. Well, the twelve disciples on the road signs, and Jesus will take me safely through. But there'll be no detours in heaven, no rough roads along the way. I'm using my Bible for a road my last stop is heaven some sweet day. I'm using my Bible for a road mound. The children of Israel use it too. Well, they crossed the Red Sea of Destruction Before God was there to see them through And there'll be no detours in heaven No rough roads along the way I'm using my Bible for a road map My last stop is heaven some sweet day There'll be no detours in heaven, no rough roads along the way. I'm using my Bible for a road map. My last stop is heaven some sweet day. My last stop is heaven some sweet day. Amen. Amen. I hope you are using your Bible for a road map. <clears throat> the words in there. Don't lie to you. They tell you what God, how he lived his life, how he set examples, how he, he put people in the Bible who, to write the stories, to give us inspirations on no matter what's going on, we know that Christ is with us every step of the way. The next song we're going to do is uh, a new one. Randy wrote this one. It's called Walk in the Light. We're doing a few new ones tonight. Uh, like I said, this is our first show that we've done since March of 2020. So we're a little rusty, <laughs> or I am anyway. <laughs> but uh, anyway, hope you get a blessing out of this walk in the light.
touch with love as you walk in the light. get a chance to get tuned again uh, this is a song we've done years and years ago um, it talks about how we should be living our life and a lot of times we just don't pay attention uh, God sends us all kinds of messages signals friends to talk to us and uh, as I say we're going to miss the train to heaven and uh, so we need to pay attention God puts people in our life for a reason and you may not realize it at that moment that it's happening, but you look back on it a few days later and think, wow, where did that come from? I needed that. So I uh, hope you get a blessing out of the song. We have a lot of fun with it, and it's called uh, Little Black Train. Cares not for the gospel life till suddenly hears a whistle blow, the train roll into sight. A little black train to come in, better get your business right. A little black train to come in, it may be here tonight. Mercy on me, Lord, please come and set me right. Before he got his business fixed, the train rolled in that night. A little black train to come in, better get your business right. A little black train to come in, it may be here tonight.
train a coming, better get your business right. A little black train a coming, it may be here tonight. A little black train a coming, better get your business right. A little black train a coming, it may be here tonight. It may be here tonight. It may. Like I said, we have a lot of fun with that song, but it's got a good message in it. Next we're going to do is one that Randy wrote several years ago, and uh, it's called uh, His Spirit. He brought the words to Bob, and he said, Bob, it's your turn to put the music to the song for us. So Bob took this, and uh, he did part of it. His daughter did the other part of it. She said, Dad, I've done mine. This is yours. Go fix it. Finish it up. And... Uh, Bob's daughter, she came here 23 years ago when she was nine years old. This girl is blessed with talent. Oh, my goodness. And at nine years old, we'd be setting up the sound system. She's tuning our instruments by ear. Dead pitch on. And we'd be singing a song, and she'd look at one and said, that third string is out of tune. You're flat. Fix it. (laughs) But anyway, uh at the age of 11, she left us and went on to bigger and better things, and she's toured the world. And uh, But her name is Tessa Lark. If you get a chance to check her out on, on the computer or on the Internet, she's just blessed with talent like nobody I've ever heard. Plays a fantastic violin. And when she plays with her dad, she calls it to fiddle. But anyway, <laughs> she's good. That's true. His spirit. How do I know if I need to lend a hand? How do I know when I need to take a stand? I'm glad that God sent me a teacher and a friend. He helps me when I'm tempted, saves me from all sin. His Spirit, Spirit helps me do right. His Spirit, Spirit is my guiding light. When I need His help, cause I can't help myself. His Spirit helps me do story that needed to be told how two of God's children wouldn't even cross the road but the good Samaritan wouldn't let that man die his spirit spoke with love helped him to do right his spirit helps me do right his spirit is my guiding light when I need his help cause I can't help myself his spirit, spirit helps me do right. His spirit, spirit helps me do right. His Spirit is my guiding light when I need His help cause I can't help myself. His Spirit, His Spirit helps me do right. This next one we're going to do, uh, Old Country Preacher. 
Yeah, I'd like to dedicate this one to Preston Haddock um, and his uh, wife Judy. They're up there in Hazard, and uh, Preston is an evangelist, travels all over. I think he might be in Florida right now preaching down there. So but I just want to dedicate this song to Preston. And uh, This is a, a Larry Sparks song. I personally like a lot of Larry's songs, and he's got a brand new one out. I may try to learn it. <laughs> You said evangelist. I thought you were going to say banjoist, right? That's what I heard. I don't know. <laughs> mm, it's similar. <laughs> uh, Sister Margaret was saying earlier that uh, you could be at home in your in your pajamas and enjoy church on WLJC, and I was thinking, well. At least we got dressed up for it. <laughs> so, but maybe sometime we'll try our pajamas. I don't know. <laughs> he didn't have a fancy suit. He didn't have a fancy car. He got around in his own black pickup truck He knew everybody's name The poor folks and the lame Well, when the roads were bad He rode his old mule bug And he was just an old country preacher Traveling round Telling folks about the Lord He was just An old country preacher With his ragged old Bible Teaching the Holy Word I I can see him down by the creek He'd smile as he would read Telling folks about the love of Jesus Christ I remember one Sunday morn When a sinner got reborn He raised his arms and then he testified and he was just an old country preacher Traveling round Telling folks about the Lord He was just an old country preacher With his ragged old Bible Teaching the Holy Word You know time keeps going on They say you can't go back home Well time has left a memory in my mind And the lonely old whippoorwill Sees the graveside on the hill And men like him are mighty hard to find And he was just an old country preacher traveling round telling folks about the Lord he was just an old country preacher with his ragged old Bible teaching the Holy Word with his ragged old Bible teaching the Holy Word
Well, we're going to speed it up a little bit. Uh, I don't know if you've heard this song before. It's called Dancing with the Angels. And uh, uh, we're going to change? No, I was just thinking about you talking about Tessa, my daughter. Yeah, okay, go ahead. And uh, uh, Sam Bush did this song with Newgrass Revival. That's where I got it from years and years ago. <laughs> and I've been a fan <laughs> of Sam Bush since I was in college. And I got to meet Sam Bush on the 4th of July. And I was introduced to Sam Bush by my daughter, who, <laughs> who offered to introduce him. And it was a thrill of a lifetime, um, partly because it's Sam Bush and partly because my daughter introduced me to him. <laughs> but uh, this is a song that uh, Newgrass Revival did years and years ago. And uh, talking to Sam, he's the nicest guy you could want to meet. And uh, he just talked away. <laughs> I told him I saw him play at the cellar door back in, in college days. When was that? I don't know. <laughs> we'll say it was in the 70s. But, uh, so but when it was. The college neat, was brand new back then. It was a neat thrill. Yeah, nobody went to college back then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, Dancing with the Angels. There's a pathway of darkness, there's a pathway of light, and they meet at the old crossroads. The angels are calling Every spirit will hearken, all is forgiven, lay down your weary load. We'll be dancing, 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 dancing with the angels. Just like old Daniel in the lion's den, the door will be open and the feast spread out before you. Dancing with the Our lanterns of love will guide us through the night. We'll be dancing, 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 dancing with the angels. Just like old Daniel in the lion's den. The door will be open and the feet spread out before you. Dancing with the Satan's dark powers are hungry for confusion, unsatisfied and greedy for more. If you look to your heart at the spirit there of blooming, if it's bright and shining, sin can harm you no more. We'll be dancing, 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 dancing with the angels. Just like old Daniel in the lion's den, the door will be open and the feast spread out before you. Dancing with the angels. He paid the debt. This song was on our first eight track. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, yeah, this is. We started in '93 and probably recorded this one in '95, maybe. Yeah. This one. This was on our very first CD. He paid the debt. What have I done to deserve salvation? And why did he save my soul? I owed a debt that I could not pay, and he paid a debt that he did not owe. He paid the debt that he did not owe. He died upon the cross to save my soul. He's the greatest 
greatest man, He's the greatest man that you'll you ever know. Cause he paid a debt he paid a debt that, that he did, did not owe. Oh. sin we were all cleansed when his blood did flow just open your heart and let him in and he'll pay a debt that he did not owe he paid the debt that he did not upon a cross to save my soul he's the greatest man that you'll ever know cause he paid a debt that he did not owe And hide your face, rock, rock, no hiding place. Crying holy to the Lord, crying holy to the Lord. If I could, I surely would stand on that rock. Stand on that rock. sinner now, Lord, I ain't no sinner now. I've been to the river and I've been baptized, Lord, I ain't no sinner now. Crying holy to the Lord, crying holy to the Lord. If I could, I surely would stand on that rock, stand on that rock. where Moses stood. Lord, I ain't no stranger now, Lord, I ain't no stranger now. I've been introduced to the Father and the Son, Lord, I ain't no stranger now. Crying holy to the Lord, crying holy to the Lord. If I could, I surely would stand. 
Stand on that rock. Stand on that rock. Close the stool. Thank you. All right. We appreciate having Narrow Road from Berea, Kentucky here tonight. They do have CDs and uh, they're, uh, <coughs> this one CD has 19 songs. The other one has 14. You, you, uh, that is 19, I think. That's all original. All original. All original. Wow, that is great. Uh, did you sing any of them tonight? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, what they didn't sing tonight, they can next time they come, okay? Well, we're glad they're, uh, they're here with us tonight, and they're from the Berea Baptist Church. And to get in touch with them, order their CDs or find out their schedule, is 859-582, that is 2, uh, 3936. All right. Well, that is, that's great. We appreciate all that good music and glad to hear about the young lady that was here when she was so young, doing doing so well, and uh, uh, she was a really sweet, sweet girl, and uh, so she she outgrew the group. So <laughs> she went she went on to bigger and better things. All right, uh, we have Bonnie from Round County. Glad sure glad to see this group tonight, and uh, she wants prayer for her children and grandchild. And Louise from Pulaski wanted to hear Amazing Grace. And and uh, uh, someone uh, uh, called and said they missed the scripture that I read tonight at the beginning. So let me, uh, let me just grab it, show, read it to you once again. It's uh, so you can remember it. it is, it's a really important one. Ephesians, uh, the fifth chapter, and the twentieth verse. Just one, uh, ch one verse. Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That was what. Uh, and then we talked about uh, um, a little message from Corey Ten Boom on how that she uh, came to even thank the Lord for the lice that was in the concentration camp because. It kept them away, kept the rulers of the guard away from uh, destroying their uh, time of fellowship. Claudetta from Perry County was in a car accident today, but uh, they did not get hurt, so she's praising the Lord for that. And uh, Peggy has called for uh, Maria, that is uh, Dottie's great-granddaughter, uh, now, she, she came down, uh, she has COVID, uh, we understand, and so we need to pray for Maria. And also my great-grandson, I, I thought a while ago it was my grandson, but it's my great-grandson, uh, has, also has COVID. All right, Rosetta Gilbert uh, from Clay County has called uh, sisters from Morgan County, says uh, COVID, uh, uh, and all the work today that they have seen, uh, we need to stand, continue to stand against this disease. Do what you can to keep from taking it, and uh, trust the Lord to take care of you. Uh, Katrina uh, needs prayer. A man has uh, this woman has called for a man said he talks like there is no God and threatens to hurt himself. He needs some good medical help, I would say, along with prayers. All right, this uh, Louise uh, Jennings from Pulaski County, her great-granddaughter has several injuries today from a four-wheeler accident. All right, uh, Leslie from Morgan County, for her brother having open heart, uh, rather having a heart calf in in the morning. Janet from McGoffin County enjoying the singing. She's still fighting cancer and uh, she's ready to go, but she still, she wants to be healed. And we want you to continue to pray for Bon Bonnie Best that she's, uh, she's still in the hospital and uh, taking shots, uh, having to go to the hospital every day to uh, get shots for an infection in her foot. 
a six-month-old baby girl uh, from Pulaski County. Sandra has called for her a, a great-granddaughter it has been breathing problems and in the hospital. Alfred has called for his wife, Donna. Margie from Pulaski County, physical needs. Donald from Pulaski, his grandmother's in the hospital in ICU. Tony is having uh, pains of physical uh, illness there. <coughs> Vernie from Wayne County uh, wants uh, needs strength and for her family also. Flemingsburg for Nancy praying for uh, for someone that is waiting for a kidney. Okay, uh, here's another one, physical needs, and uh, most of these are, are physical needs and uh, accidents and so forth. Here's someone having trouble with their heart, someone living in Florida uh, for a grandbaby that was born premature, not fully developed, and uh, there, uh, someone praying for their cat. And so there's a lot of needs, a, a lot of things that people have to pray for. And now let's, uh, let's try to remember what our scripture was tonight about giving thanks to God. He knows, he knows uh, what our needs are. We can always know that, and we can be thankful for that. And we can praise him because we know without a shadow of a doubt that he can take care of any problem that we ever have. He can turn the worst thing in our life around to make it a blessing. We don't like to go through things like that. No, we holler, you know, let, let it pass. I don't want this. But we need to yield ourselves, our heart, and our lives to the Lord and pray for others. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the good music tonight, for the uplifting of, of the Holy Spirit in each of our hearts. And, Lord, for all these people that have called and shared their needs, they know that we care and that we take them to you And because we all realize you're the only one that can fix the brokenness in each of our lives, you, the body, the emotions. The, whatever happens, Lord, you are our only hope. As the song says, all my hope is in Jesus. So tonight, Lord, I thank you for this group of people that is called. I thank you that they're turning to the right source for their help. And as they have asked for help now, help them to start looking and expecting to see a change. We ask for the salvation of each family. And we do ask you, Lord, to uh, do away with this COVID uh, epidemic that is causing so much heartache. And bless Bless this group as they continue to sing and give them safety on their journey. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, we are out of time. So from all of us, good night and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Bayville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. May God bless you.